So times are obviously very exciting in terms of ADA. We're looking at it in a very different way than we were just a few weeks ago. And because of that, there is now something that is very important for ADA that is set to take place this week. And what you need to know is that the last time that this did in fact happen, ADA managed to go on a 127% move to the upside. Are we about to see something similar? Is history about to repeat itself? And is there something that could push ADA price even higher the deeper we get into this market cycle? I'm Luxide, welcome to the channel. If you guys are new or haven't already, make sure that subscribe button down below, hit that bell again, it's free to do. It will keep you updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. So the great news is that Right now, ADA price is, is on the pump. We're, we're looking good. Hopefully this continues. We'll see what happens. A CPI report actually just came out. Um, haven't gotten a chance to look at it, but I'm not gonna mention that in this video. So right now, ADA's doing some very good things. We know what took place over the last 10 days or so, and this has led to ADA being looked at in a very different light than it was back here. Remember people calling ADA dead, not going anywhere. It's just gonna keep falling, and then it, it melted faces, right? Well, the question is now, now that we've made this momentum move, are we on the verge of making an even bigger momentum move, repeating history and actually running 127% like last time? So this was actually pointed out by a viewer, uh, Nikolai Velkov. Appreciate you uh, mentioning this because we forgot to look at this because of how fast ADA moved. We are actually on the verge of having a golden cross in terms of ADA. Our 50-day moving average is very quickly approaching our 200-day our moving average. And right now we are on pace to actually cross it either Friday or Saturday. Now, some people in the past have said, oh yeah, don't give too much weight to that. That's not a big deal. Mm, it actually is. It's a very strong momentum move and it's an indication that we are finally starting to flip around. We're confirming our reversal. And in fact, the last time this took place, was back in November of 2023, coincidentally, at about this exact same time. Now, why that is important is the, I've said many times that <clears throat> the early bull market cycle, I believe is an indication of what we will see in the latter part of the bull market cycle. What I mean by that is when new capital was flowing in, when people were getting excited outside the space, ADA tended to be one of the better performers. It saw some of the highest inflows. And that's, that's a very important thing to note because remember, <clears throat> the wave of adoption is bigger, there's more capital, and that, again, is where you might see ADA really make up some major ground. Now, this isn't a guarantee, this isn't a, finan a financial advice or anything like that, but the last time this led to a 127% move. So are we about to see ADA do the same thing? Are we about to see it actually set a new cycle high, break $1? Does it happen faster? These are all great questions. And unfortunately, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't tell you guys exactly, but <clears throat> this is a very important thing to know. What will be even more bullish then is when all these moving averages are in the right spot, when the 50 is, is just below the 20, when the 100 is below, above our 200 day as well, then we are in the full on bull mode. If you guys remember, that's where we got to back here and things looked very good for a very long period of time. All right. Now we'll have to wait and see what happens. BTC is going to be the, the driver in the market. We have to see if it's going to continue setting new all time highs. Obviously, alt season is ahead of us. And really what we're looking for in terms of Cardano in general is bigger adoption. Now, this brings me to this this uh, comment by a viewer who's been a longtime hater of, of Cardano and ADA. And what he said, this is chaos. Appreciate you for all your comments. He says, there's only so much hype news can make until fundamentals come back into play. No one's building on Cardano. Look at the TVL pump and dump. And <clears throat> no, all right, been a hater for a long time. So let me, let me school you just a little bit. So development on Cardano has in fact been happening for a very long period of time. Look at all these projects, all right? There is uh, a countless number of them. There is constant development going on. And many people forget that Cardano is actually one of the leading blockchains in terms of development. There's actually so much activity that's taking place with, within Cardano. It's kind of incredible that it, it hasn't taken off further yet. But the funny thing about this is fundamentals are in fact improving. We're seeing increases in daily active users. We're seeing increases in transactions. We're seeing incre increases in the projects being launched. And the crazy thing about this is this can increase even further as we get into bigger times of DeFi adoption. Many people forget that the height of the last market cycle, the biggest times of DeFi adoption, Cardano didn't even have smart contracts. So this is kind of a dumb conversation to even be having, but I really want to point this out. Now, TVL compared to other chains is a horrible gauge. And the reason why I say that is these other chains, they have they don't have liquid staking like Cardano has. If you guys remember, if you stake ADA, it's not locked, you can move it around, and that is why it is not counted in TVL. 
meaning that the 60% plus of ADA tokens that are locked, and we're talking about what, uh, what would that be? Almost, uh, wow, quick math, $10 billion worth of ADA isn't counted in TVL. It's not really a fair comparison. What I like to gauge Cardano on is <clears throat> its TVL compared to what it's done historically speaking. It has been on the rise. We did see a little bit of a sell-off here. Some older tokens uh, likely being sold as ADA made this last move. There are people, again, that take profit and dump and just call quits. But this, <clears throat> this growth that we saw from 2023 after the dip in 2024 has now extended. And now with these bigger developments that are even coming down the pipeline, this is a very positive sign. And that brings me to this, all right? So people will complain about Cardano use, they'll complain about the daily active users. And really the way that I look at that is opportunity. I really want people to think about this, okay? If Cardano and ADA have done as well as they have so far <clears throat> and price has gotten to where it's been and it, you know, Cardano has been, I've had somebody ask this, I believe it was a hundred billion dollar market cap last market cycle around the top, 100, 125, somewhere in there. So it's done all that without major blockchain use. What does further blockchain use create? Demand, all right? What that means is as the Cardano blockchain grows and scales and there's even more of this, this adoption that takes place, it's further demand for ADA. That pushes price further. So this thing that people consider to be a detriment is actually a benefit because that means that there is further demand for Cardano that can come down the line in an actually organic way. All right. Hopefully that makes sense for people. Hopefully that crushes any of these these conversations that people have that that frankly think that this is a bad thing for Cardano. The big growth part of the cycle is about to hit, and that is where Cardano is well positioned for the future. So I appreciate you guys as always. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this leads to a major spike in terms of, of ADA. And in fact, if you guys want to do what I'm doing again, I am doing a lot of leverage trading right now. Just know that there is risk that comes with that. Uh, most of my leverage trades that I do are quite low. I, I should have switched over to my other account. There's uh, my ADA position is currently a 10 X leverage one. It's nothing crazy. I opened it up way down, uh, way down low in terms of price. And frankly, I think we're gearing up for big moves in the market. And it's not like ADA is going to get left behind here. Again, pay attention to those early market trends. I think they're indicative of what we are going to see as time goes on. So feel free to check that out below. There's no KYC, $10,000 or up to $10,000 in deposit and trading bonuses, but have a great day. Show your love below. Let me know your thoughts. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.